Ever wondered how to use Burp Suite on Kali Linux? Well, you're about to find out. Welcome to another episode of Hack the Matrix, where we unravel the mysteries of ethical hacking. Today, we're delving into the world of Burp Suite, a powerful tool for web application security testing. Burp Suite is a favorite among ethical hackers and security professionals due to its rich feature set. It's a tool that allows you to map out, analyze, and even modify HTTP requests of web applications, making it a critical asset in identifying vulnerabilities. So how do you install and set up Burp Suite on Kali Linux? It's quite simple. Open your terminal and type in a series of commands. After the installation is complete, launch Burp Suite, and you're ready to embark on your journey into web application testing. Before you start testing, there's a crucial step you need to take. Configuring Burp Suite to meet your needs. Adjust your proxy settings and make sure to install the Burp Suite CA certificate in your browser. This will enable you to intercept and analyze HTTPS traffic, a key feature of Burp Suite. Burp, now you're ready to explore the main features of Burp Suite. The proxy tab allows you to intercept and modify HTTP requests. The scanner tab automatically identifies security vulnerabilities. The repeater tab enables you to manually modify and replay requests. The intruder tab helps automate attacks on web applications, and the target tab lets you map the structure of web applications. It's time to put theory into action. We'll carry out a basic test on a vulnerable web application. First, we'll use the proxy tab to intercept requests. Then, we will modify the parameters and observe the changes. Finally, the scanner tab will come into play to automatically identify vulnerabilities. And there you have it a crash course on how to use Burp Suite on Kali Linux. This is just the beginning, as Burp Suite has a plethora of advanced features waiting to be explored. The world of ethical hacking is vast and constantly evolving, so stay curious and keep learning. If you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow hackers. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an episode. This has been another episode of Hack the Matrix. I'm your host, and until next time, happy hacking.